Good morning. Good morning. 9.13 a.m. Monday, the 16th of May. It's our last full day here. Today, we are going to adventure. Yep. So the first place we're going to is the Meadows Center for Water and the Environment. Um, I emailed them to make sure I had permission to film at the facility because it is a, I believe it is attached to or a part of Texas State and I have obtained permission and uh, so she's let them know that we are on our way or we're coming today and we are going to enjoy a glass bottom boat at the little, there's a little spring fed lake there and we're just gonna kinda check it out. We haven't done a glass bottom boat in years. Aquarina Springs, I believe, is the last time we did that when the kids were very young. And I don't even know if Aquarina Springs still exists. Oh, yeah. yeah, we'll have to look that up. Anyway, so we're very excited about that. And then, after that, we are going to go to Jacob's Well, which is about 30 minutes from uh, Meadow Center for Water and the Environment. It's about 30 minutes from there. So we have an appointment today from 3 to 6 p.m. You do have to book an appointment in order to go. And uh, I'm gonna let that one be a little bit of a surprise for you <laughs> while we vlog on for the day. But I'm gonna tell you right now, I call it the death hole. <laughs> All right, so we'll see you along the way. Classic H-E-B. We are in San Marcos to get some jicama and some ice. And just so you know, this is a classic H-E-B. However, they used to have a big Texas shaped, like, I don't know. I'll see if I can find a picture online somewhere, but they used to have a big Texas shaped thing on the front of them. All right, I'm, it was the pantries, yeah. Uh, I'm not gonna take you in here because, you know, it's very small. So just get nice and jicama and we'll see you on the outside. I love HUB, -E no matter how small. Here, so we're, oh, oh, there it is. So we're gonna go get to the ticket booth. Don't forget if you come to pay to park, it's $3 a day. I'm glad Robert saw that because I just walked right on past it, didn't even see it or notice it. <laughs> Here's our time, 11.30, in our admit one, four two. The kiddos went off on that other boat over there, they're down there. So let's come down here. It is currently 11.11. We are going right here. <gasps> look, oh, what fun. We're gonna have so much fun, you guys. And look, you can already see. Oh, it's crystal clear and beautiful. Look at these trees. Wow. Just beautiful. beautiful in here. It feels so nice and cool. First day of spring And I just want to sing To everything that's moving Every single little thing To them birds flying free Fish in the sea, flowers and trees, every little bumblebee. I wanna sing. Ooh, ah, mm, mm, mm. Oh. This is the old Aquarina Springs. 
There you go. To the kids playing hoops, going loop de loop. The rainbow colored bouncy balls and their ice cream scoops. Got my shoes in my hand and my feet in the sand. I got 20 ducklings in a row like a little marching band. I'll take your tickets. Just Thank watch you so much. Oh, it's so cool. Whoop. Hello. Hello. Right at that wall, it runs approximately 260 miles behind me, all the way down to the Gulf of Mexico. That's, that's called a Texas River Cooter. But it's, it's, it's a cooter. cooter, a really tiny one if you ever see them that kind of look like babies. There's going to be musk for this. So those are actually the fullest size they'll ever grow to, so they're really, really tiny. So right now we're coming over our first high pressure spring system. This is called Greater Yeah, Yep, yep, yep. yep, yep. So if you guys look, you can see a lot of those plants are moving like there's a breeze down there. That's a high pressure spring. The water that comes out of there, it is variable day to day, especially now with the lower amount of rain that we've gotten. Um, but it is comparable to that of a fire hydrant. So it does push out really fast and hard. That's why you might notice there's some white sediment where there's no plants growing. It's because the water comes out so fast and so hard that plants physically cannot move oh, there's the turtles. <laughs> They're all artisanal springs that are created when the Rocky Mountains were formed. Uh, when the Rocky Mountains were formed, it created something called the Balcones fault line through here, and it pushed uh, the plates. Well, it's not a seismic fault, um, but it did push the earth a little bit, so the aquifer is now open to air. So if you guys look over to my left, this is really good to know. Yeah. That actually used to be a hotel. It was opened up in 1929. It cost you $2.50 a night to stay there when it opened, which is absolutely no money. Nowadays, it is the Meadow Center proper, so. but the cool thing is, for all of recorded human history, the water here has never stopped flowing. So wow. All the way far back, as we know, the springs have always had some amount of water coming out. That doesn't mean they were gushing all that time, but they had some amount of water. This area is called salt and pepper. We call it that because it kind of looks like salt and pepper down there. The yeah, salt would be the lime salt that I mentioned earlier. The pepper is going to be something that we call humus, which is oh, just decomposing climate. But the little bubbles that you see are low pressure springs. So low pressure springs don't come out very fast. They're uh, similar to that of like your kitchen faucet in your house, which I know is a varying range of things. As my kitchen faucet is not fast at all. It's on the plan. These low pressure springs are one of the overall largest contributors to lake levels that we do have. There, just because we do have hundreds of them spread throughout the lake. So this water, since it is spring fed, yeah. um, and it comes out really like fast, so this area replaces itself water-wise about every 24 to 48 hours. So you could drink the water, I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> um, there's a lot of like turtle poop and stuff in it that you wouldn't want to drink. Um, so right now we're coming over what we call cream of wheat. This is our largest collection of low pressure springs in the lake. So you'll see some of those bubbles like we saw here yeah. are hundreds of them spread throughout this area. Even though it might look like that's the uh, bottom of the lake, if you were to stick your arm into any one of those springs, it would go all the way down until your shoulder, until you hit anything solid. And that's just because the springs are pushing out a lot of that limestone, and with the water coming up, it almost makes like a quick sand effect with the water. A decent amount of space. You want to go above him? We can see him. Wait. <laughs> wow, yeah, yeah. There's some the kids. So anywhere the really dark rock meets that really white sand, there's going to be high pressure springs coming out of there. And then if you look really, really closely underneath the boat, uh, a little bit of a head is you're going to see some of those small bubbles like we saw at Cream of Wheat. But this area is considered sacred to a tribe of Native American people called the Qualtican. They believe humanity originated out of these spring systems that were over. But our time together is coming to an end. I'd like to thank you guys so much for coming out today. 
The last one, the lieutenant I'll leave you with, is that big tree that's ahead of us. That is a bald cypress tree. It's estimated to be about 350 years old, so it's a really old tree. What do you think of that? Mr. That was awesome. That was very informative, very cool. I love yes. watching the little bubbles come up out of the ground from yeah. the, the water flow. So we're going to take a walk down the boardwalk. Definitely go take a look, see if we see those beavers, even though he used that big SAT word to describe that they're only out in the morning in the dusk and dawn. Dusk and dawn. <laughs> um, but there is a term for it. There is a term for it. And that young man knew that term. <laughs> He's a junior in college, so they're teaching him well. <laughs> All right, you guys, we're going to take a walk this way. Scuba, scuba divers. divers. Yeah, you can do kayak. You can do kayak tours here, snorkeling tours, scuba diving tours. There's a lot of education to be had here. A lot of damage was done by Aquarina Springs when it was the um, theme park. park. And the university is doing its best to recover this area from the, the damage that was done. But some of it is unfortunately in unrepairable but they are at least doing their best to conserve it now and bring it back to its once beautiful splendor so, let's go follow everybody else down to the boardwalk this is gonna be a long vlog y'all we still got to go to the death hole go yeah, it's the wetlands walk Oh, wow. All the lily pads. Figure out what it is. Oh, these little fish. Oh, that's what it is. <laughs> there is the beaver hut. I guess you're not coming out, huh, guys? Oh, look at the <gasps> Wow. Those are gars. Two of them. Those were big. Those were enormous. Do they bite? I don't know. Should we find out? Nope. Ah, mm, oh. To the couples in love And the seagulls above And any other I can think of I want to sing Ooh, I want to sing is the head, the very start of the San Marcos River. And it goes all the way to the Gulf of Mexico. That is pretty cool. So we are in the van, the van, wow. We are in the truck and we're gonna have a little picnic lunch. The one I packed earlier, I bought a peanut butter and jelly sandwich for me. I bought Robert a ham and cheese sandwich and we stopped at H-E-B. They did not have any jicama. So I just got some apples and grapes. Pineapple. And pineapple, yeah. So no big deal. So we're gonna have lunch and then we're gonna go walk through, I think we're in Wimberley. We're gonna walk through the little town right in there yeah, before. Lots of cool shopping. Yeah, they did. It was very busy in there. So we'll have to find parking. And then it'll be time to head on up to Jacob's Well. We're about eight miles away, eight minutes away. So see you in a bit. All right. So here I said, like I said, just a little, can you hold that for me? Thank you, honey. Little downtown area shopping. This is just one section. There's some over there. There's a couple more streets up that direction, but this is where we found some parking. Texas 
Texas shirt. Very Texas style. Very, very, very. Oh my goodness, you guys, these hats. Uh-oh. Maybe Favor needs a hat. River House, we'll come see what's in here. Gifts, accessories, home, ladies and babies. Hello, Hello. very well. Oh, it smells good in here. Oh, this is the kind of shop Favor can get in trouble. Look at these. I know. On the bottom? Mm -hmm. So pretty. A whole lot easier to get them home here than in Mexico. Mm -hmm. <gasps> I may have to get that. <laughs> Look at these, so delicate and pretty. I love those. This is a fun store. I bought the bracelet and I had to. Okay, you guys, we could go shopping with us, but we are going to look around a few of these shops to kill some time before we go to the death hole. Okay. So I did pick it up. I just think it's so special. So there you go. And um, that is a hand and a paw print. And this is silver plated pewter. So and leather. So here we are this little nature area right in this downtown area in the little shopping area. Look at these trees ecological restoration in progress this is gorgeous look at the trees <laughs> it's just amazing oh so gorgeous and right here on the river you guys i don't know what river this is is this the San Marcos River? Is the Kamal River? Is it the Guadalupe? What is it? Robert's pulling that up for us. Cypress Creek. Cypress Creek. So it's clear, but it's it's got some sediment floating on the tap, likely from runoff and things like that. So, but it seems people enjoy playing on it as there's a float or two or five over there. But it is beautiful to look at. Los Olivos, which is right here. Picked up a chimichurri sauce that I'm real excited to put on a steak. <laughs> mm -hmm. After a quick outfit change in the truck, I might add. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because we did not remember to check if these there were facilities there's your facilities yes once we saw that we were like mm, yeah so it's about a 10 to 15 minute hike down this pathway so we will see you along the way and down there we got our water walking shoes on. yes we do have our water shoes on so water sneakers on I have my basket bag which is not the most comfortable on the shoulder I'll admit so I would have been better with a cloth bag or something or a, backpack. or a backpack but again we were not prepared I did not realize we would be hiking down here so I can carry it we'll be fine there you go yeah now watch for snakes you guys that's not a joke here in Texas Labyrinth sounds like a place Favor will get lost. Let's go to the well. Now the reason why I keep calling this the death hole, don't trip on that honey, 
is because, first of all, it's way down here. That's why it's called the well. And second of all, it's 140 feet deep in the water, you guys. At one particular, at one particular point. So, Favor will not be approaching that particular point. Now this is what feeds Cypress Springs that we just looked at. Cypress Creek. Cypress Creek, excuse me, yes. All right, now we are not permitted to get in yet because our yeah, time, early. yeah, we got here early. We thought our time was three to six, it's four to six. <gasps> Robert, okay. there you go. Look at all those people. And there is the hole. That is 140 feet deep. Okay, we hiked down just a little bit down that way. And now we are over here at this private property here. So I'm not sure what's up there, obviously. But uh, here we go. So here it is, right here is where the park begins. And you just come on down. And then uh, you can come this way. A couple of people have jumped, just like that, which I missed. Look at the fish. All right. Ooh, that's chilly. That's a lot chillier than Robert let on. It's not. It is. Oh my goodness, you guys, it is very, very cold. It's a fishies. Hold on, I'll show you the fishy. But it's going to make the microphone garbled, so we're going to go underwater. You ready? You okay? Do you see all the rocks under there? Please jump out. I, I, yeah, I remember watching you jump in the cenote. That was very scary, Mr. Finley. No, it wasn't. It was fine. It was very scary for me. What did you think of that, honey? That was a lot of fun. Yeah, that was pretty cool. That was a very interesting thing to see. And I definitely think you should stop by and do it if you're in this area. So, uh, yeah. All right, we're going to pay attention to not falling to our death. And uh, we'll see you in a minute. It's so scary. Let's see if we can see how far down he goes. Very scary. You know, we should have given Robert the GoPro to jump down there. Wow, that would have been a good idea. We'll, we'll be back. And uh, when we come back, he can jump with the GoPro then. But you guys, this is kind of true hiking here. So you need to have the right footwear on. Don't come in your flip-flops. So, and I gotta say our water shoes are doing our water sneakers are doing pretty well but you know you might be better if with some you know some of those terrain sandals or hiking sandals or something i don't know but uh i will leave these links for you down in the description box along with all the other gear we use when we get in the water all right we'll see you up there okay we're back in the truck we are headed back to the campground Thank you. 
Good morning. 946 Tuesday, the 17th of May. Our last day. Our last day. We're packing up to go home. Just wanted to take a look at the river one last time. And then we're gonna pack up and hit the road. Head home. I don't want to. We're not ready. He's so sleepy. <laughs> Yesterday was a tough day. <laughs> the heat, truly it is the heat that is affecting us. Okay, this vlog is long enough, so let's go peek at the river, pack up, head on home. Baby! Oh! Oh, Mama, I'm sorry. Oh. I'm sorry, Mama. I won't come down there and bug you. Oh my goodness. That is unbelievably cute. Oh my goodness. Don't worry, Mama, I'm not coming. It's okay. And then we have turtles. A bunch of turtles are some out on that rock and on that one time to pack it up and head on home it was a great week we will definitely come back here we can always stay a little longer we don't have a plan just let me live a little younger than I really am. We've got nothing here to save us, save us from ourselves. Let's live life like it's made up, jump in the wishing well. We are wanderers, nothing can stop us. 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 Thank you so much for joining us on these this last week here in now Rio Grande RV Resort. We had an amazing week at one. Wonderful. Wonderful. Rio Grande. <laughs> Taco Bell on the mind. <laughs> we had a great week. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> and uh, we highly, highly recommend that place. It, we really, really enjoyed it and we will definitely be back. Yep. So, so quiet. Just really, it was fabulous. So, uh, if you have an RV, you want to get up in this area, I highly recommend it. So, there you go. Thank you so much. We'll see you along the way here heading home. Uh, we'll see you in the next vlog. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And we will see you next time. Happy camping. Bye. Bye.